My name is Simone McGill, Northern Ireland striker, and this is my football story. So we're here in Macrofell, it's back to where it all began for me. I'm back in my old estate, Sandy Grove. So this is really where it all started. Um, we used to play on this grass every single day. And I just remember my, my parents down at the house used to shout when dinner was ready. So I, I used to have to sprint back home to get my dinner and then I'd be straight back out onto this grass. So we're back here at the Mid Ulster Sports Arena. And this is where I played for my, all my teams that I played for. So when I was 10, I joined a boys club called Cookstown Youth and I also joined a girls club called Mid Ulster Ladies and both of them teams were based up here at the sports arena. So this is where throughout my teenage years I played um, all my football and spent all of my time. I was up here nearly every night of the week playing for the various teams. It's quite nice to come back actually and you know kind of see where it all kind of started for me and um, I just remember like scoring in these, these goals and like having my parents outside the pit watching. It was, it was really cool, it was really nice. So yeah, it's just really nice to come back and see where it all began really. So Northern Ireland have really helped me in my football and career. I mean, at a young age, like I was coming up here twice a week with the County Excellence Programme and that was something that was provided for us, you know, at a young age and that was almost like a filter from our club teams through to international. Um, I was granted the opportunity, you know, to play with the senior squad when I was 15, do you know what I mean? And that's not something a lot of people can say that they get to do. So my football career has brought me from here to here. So when I was 18 years of age, I first came over to Everton um, and I signed for them in the February. Um, so I've been here now going on five years uh, and as of last year, um, we went full time. So that was my first real experience of you know, getting to sign a fully professional contract. So it's everything I ever wanted when I was a kid. As of last year, I became the first a female player from Northern Ireland to become a full-time professional and I think it's you know it's amazing now that we get opportunities like this in the women's game and hopefully you know through me being able to do this it can show the future generation of, of young girls coming through in Northern Ireland that it is possible and you know hopefully this paves the way and we can start to produce some some full-time professionals like me and you know get to do get to do this every day and it can only be, be good for you know us from an international point of view and help move us forward uh, going forward and start to really compete and hopefully qualify for some major tournaments soon.